Let us see. Let us see if you remember this. So we're again reviewing dividing by fraction. So with this, remember whenever you did this in the past, like I'm going to say, word, remember, remember, just like on um, Lion King. Remember. No, Dad. Remember. Remember. Yeah, y'all know Lion King. Y'all know that. All right. So remember, in um, when we did dividing fractions, we said keep change flip. You guys remember that part? Or maybe you might have said keep change change, some of that sort. So remember that was really like we're saying, okay, we keep your numerator. Don't change the numerator. Keep it the same. We change the, um, the sign or change the operation. To multiplication. And then we flip our denominator. So with that, we're going to just review that real quick. Go for it and then move move on. All right, so let's give an for example. Let's say we're going to divide. Uh, let's do black. Divide. Two over three over four, or three fourths. Two divided by three fourths. All right. So like we said before, we're going to keep your numerator. We're going to keep that part. We're going to change the division to multiplication, and then we're going to flip the fraction back here. So keep, change, flip. All right. So we're going to keep the two. We're going to change the um, division to multiplication. And then we're going to flip the 3 over 4. So 4 over 3. All right. So easy. Keep change flip. Now with it, remember, remember that's the same thing as saying 2. 2 is the same thing as saying 2 over 1 because it's a whole number. So whole numbers are anything over 1. So technically here, our answer is 2 times 4, which is 8. 1 times 3, which is 3. So 8 over 3 is our answer here. Answer, answer. So with us trying to figure out our um, our identities and everything that we're going to talk about, let's look at the keep change flip portion of it to try to help us figure out the reciprocal identities. So let's go to the next page. Bye. Bye. There we go. That way. All right. So we're going to do the same thing that we just did with dividing fractions. Reviewed that again. Um, do the same thing here. We're going to use what we have. So all that stuff was opposite over adjacent, hypotenuse, and all the great stuff. But we just wrote down on the last video. We're going to use that here to help us to um, tell what is our reciprocal identities. So we're going to do two of them. And then the same process is going to happen for the rest of them. So with that, let's go for it. So here we have sine equals 1 over cosecant x. And so that's our actually our identity for reciprocal identities. But... Why is that? Wait, where is that coming from? And let's see. Let's just do this. Let's talk about it. So we know one. It's going to just say one there. We said cosecant was something over something. And if you remember right, that's saying we said it was the hypotenuse over the opposite. So hypotenuse over opposite. All right. So yeah. With this, again, we're going to divide this. So we're going to do keep, change, flip. Keep your numerator. One. Change the multiplication. And we're going to flip the denominator. Opposite of our hypotenuse. All right. So one times opposite of our hypotenuse. So anything times one, it's itself. So we have opposite of our hypotenuse is your final answer. And if you remember what opposite of hypotenuse was, that was sine. So we just kind of reproved here why this identity works and how this identity came from, where it came, where it came from. So sine x equals 1 over cosecant x. And again, this part behind that 1 over cosecant x is the proof of why this works. Why it's true. All right, let's try another one. Let's try cosine. 
And as we're going through the notes again, if you need to stop the video and then write it down and then come back, go do that. Go do that. Or you need to rewatch the video a couple of times, do that. That's perfectly fine. All right, so here for the next one, we have cosine x equals 1 over secant x. That's our identity. That's the rule. And this is why. That's the proof. All right, so here we said that secant was something over something this time. But this time it was hypotenuse over adjacent. So if we do keep change flip again, we keep the one, change the multiplication, we flip the bottom fraction there, the denominator. And so that gives us adjacent of hypotenuse. And remember we said adjacent of hypotenuse is cosine. So therefore, it is the same thing again. Yes. Go Shang-Chi. All right. So we got that. So if we do this over and over and over again, it will give us the actual answers that we have for our um, reciprocal identities. So at this point, I'm just going to read. Right, um, instead of going through that over and over again for everything else, I'm just going to go and give you the rest of them. So these are our reciprocal identities. Identities. And we're going to use these over and over and over again. So it's going to be important that you know them. And as you work with them more and more, you'll remember them easily. So these are four of them. Not all of them, but just four of them. I'm trying to group them together so we can get them so we can get all on one page, one side, one thing. And we'll put this up too. Yeah, there we go. All right, so these are all of our identities here, reciprocal identities. So like we had up top, sine x is 1 over cosecant x. Cosine is 1 over secant x. Tangent is 1 over cotangent x. Cosecant is 1 over sine x. Secant is 1 over cosine x. And cotangent is 1 over tan x. And hopefully you see a pattern that goes on there. Like I said before, the S's don't go together, the S and C's do. So we have a sine here and a cosine, a cosecant. So S and C. A, a, sorry, a C and an S here. But then when you look at this part over on this side, these right here, all we did was to switch places. Where the cosecant was on the left side and where cosine was, they just switched spots. Where cosecant was and where sine was, they just switch spots. So with that, all you're doing is, if you remember the left side of this, just flip it around and you'll find the right side. Easy, simple, it's not going to be hard at all. Not at all. all right, so those are our, our reciprocal identities. So now we're going to go to our next video where we're going to actually use those identities to help us to do an example. Let's go.